Hey everybody, Chris here, you join Off-Road. Wrapping up this gorgeous Coachman Leprechaun, it's a 2019 E450. Came down from New Jersey and it's headed home in a few days. I love when they have this full body paint. I just like seeing unique colors, different colors on the E-Series. So, um, normal recipe for everything on this. Six inch lift, custom spec springs front and rear, 33 inch tires. I had to educate a guy on Facebook this morning who said it's not possible to lift a vehicle and make it drive better. And I have to strongly disagree with his statement because you can. The long story short is these things leave the factory from Ford and then go right to the RV manufacturer and they put all this weight on the chassis and they don't do anything to the suspension. They might do airbags, they might do sway bars, they might upgrade the shocks, but those are all band-aids for a rig that is grossly undersprung. So by adding the proper spring capacity and better shocks, better steering angles, sway bars. Yes, it is 100% possible to make these things drive 100% better than stock. So this is a stage three front axle, 456 gears, Detroit True Track, crossover steering, uh, serviceable wheel bearings, all the stuff that comes with our top of the line stage three front axle. Then you can see the front springs, you can see the upper track bar mount, single Fox 2.0. Up front, we've got our FB002 front bumper, upgraded with rigid lights, and the front receiver. It does have a front OBA port. This thing is rocking our OBA system. We swapped it out for a black grill with the amber running lights. It's a V10 six speed, so it's got the V10 with the 6R140. Got a slip yoke NP 1128 T case behind that. Up front, American Racing Baja wheels. 17 by nine, four and a half inch backspacing. Here's another view of the frame and the chassis work we did. Helwig front sway bar. There's the driver's side OBA port. And we just did our direct mount links on the rear sway bar. Out back, of course, six inch full springs, Fox 2.0s, a 255 80 17 Toyo AT3. I think I forgot to mention the front is a 285-70-17 Toyo AT3 on our in-house done Dodge machined wheels. Other than that, no extras on this thing. Nothing in the rear. The spare fit underneath, so we tucked it back up there. And it's ready to go. It is running an S-Pod to control the lights and the onboard air. And I have a special guest who requested it to be in my YouTube video that is going to give us a demo right now. So this is my oldest daughter, Mathis, and she's going to show us what the S-Pod does. What we got? So here is the amber fog, the clear fog, the clear driving, and the onboard air. And he's got two extra switches. He can add other things later to the S-Pod system. So super nice, everything's in the dash. You can turn it on and off there and then all the stuff gets wired under the hood. Go ahead and turn those lights on, honey. There you can see the amber lights in the grill. There's the amber fogs, the clear fog and the clear driving. Nice combination and variety of light for the bumper. All right, well, that's it. Thanks for watching as always. If you don't follow us on Instagram and Facebook, please do. We post daily shop updates of what's going on here at U-Joint. And uh, check out our RV page. We've got a specific page on the website just for RVs. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments or shoot me an email, chris at ujointoffroad.com. If you're looking for an estimate on a DIY kit or a turnkey swap here. If you're looking for a turnkey swap at our Colorado location, Please email justin at youjointoffroad.com. Have a great day.